It looks as if Jackson State is one step closer to getting a brand new football stadium, something that they hope can help keep Coach Prime around. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Balls Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Now, here today, we're here to talk about Jackson State and the fact that they got a unanimous vote to move forward on building a brand new football stadium, and they are one step closer to making that happen. We are going to go to an article <clears throat> by a WLBT. WLBT out of Jackson, Mississippi. Let me go ahead and share my screen and we're going to read some of this and how this directly correlates to who ain't swack and who is swack. Well, Coach Prime is definitely swack and the good folks at Jackson, Mississippi is trying to make him swack for a very, very long time. Keep him around. Oh, oh, oh not that, but trying to keep him around for as long as they he will possibly have them. And they hope that a brand new stadium will be able to do the job. Now, it says members of the Jackson City Council agree. Not only is Coach Prime swack, but he's also a blessing to the capital city and to Jackson State University. Tuesday, the city council members unanimously approved a solution backing the construction of a new football stadium for the college, a move that they say could keep Coach Deion Sanders in the capital city. Quote, we've had so much success with our coach, Deion Sanders, prime time, and it's just the perfect time if we're going to get a new stadium to start talking. And let's try to make it a reality. War 3 Council member Kenneth Stokes said, we're all hoping that Coach Prime stays in the city for a long period of time, but a lot of colleges and universities are trying to get his talents. Maybe if we show as a state that we're committed to him staying into the new stadium, maybe it would help encourage him to stay, he said. Members of the city council disagreed with that sentiment. Ward 5 Councilman uh, Vernon Hartley, for instance, said that he was proud of everything Coach Prime has done for Jackson State and his ward since taking over the football program in 2020. Now, we know Coach Prime has got a 20 and five record in three years and won a SWAT conference title. Quote, we're talking economic impact in the millions. I think they meant agreed because it said disagreed. Y'all can check me. Hold on. It says disagreed. I don't know. Let's, let's keep reading. Now, I've read this already and I definitely think they meant agreed, but continue on. We're talking economic impact in the millions, Hartley said. If and when he decides to move on, it's going, oh, maybe no, he said disagreed. He decides to move on. It's going to be a loss. We need to go ahead and take advantage of all the things we can do right now. Stokes, meanwhile, reiterated uh, Sanders' comments. If he isn't swag, who is? The atmosphere for football has not been this high in a long, long, long time, Stokes said. He's a good coach. He's good for the community. He's good for the swag. It's just a blessing to have someone like Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, in the city of Jackson. Now, Here's the thing where I disagree where I disagree with the city council member Vernon Hartley. He said if Coach Prime decides to move on and when he moves on, the stadium is going to be a net loss. That's not true. Here's why in this in this goes back to I remember when I was dissecting that uncorked podcast a uh, statement. He kind of said the same thing. He was like, "Yo, when Prime leaves, Jackson State not going to be the same like it's, it's going to be like, it's not going to be popping anymore. That's not true. That is not true. Because here's the thing. When you have an established culture, when you have an established program, when you become the cream of the crop, especially in college football, that job becomes more attractive, right? Like that job now can get you a big time guy. That's why when you see throughout the history of college football, yes, the, the big blue bloods and Jackson State under Coach Prime can establish itself as a blue blood of HBCU football, of FCS football, of college football, whatever. But that's why you see the blue bloods of college football. They may have some down years, but eventually they get the right coach and they get back popping. 
right? Because the job, especially after a big time coach, the job is more attractive than when it was when he got when he got there. He leaves the job more attractive than when it was when he got there. Think about Jackson State before Prime. They had a they had a practice field that you couldn't even practice on when it rained. It had potholes. It it wasn't it, it wasn't safe. This it had real safety concerns. Now they have two brand new practice fields. They have three total practice fields. They redid the new one, redid that one and built two more. They redid their game field. They've got a new facility and now they're about to build a new stadium. Who the hell wouldn't want to come into that job? Why can't now you you can't get a Deion Sanders? He's a one of one. You can't get another prime, and, and that's okay. But wouldn't another big time coach, whether it's former player or whatever, why wouldn't he want that job? Everything's brand new. Everything, if Prime leaves in five years, will be five years or less. Five years old or less. If Prime leaves in 10 years, it'll be 10 years or less. And it'll probably be state of the art renovated within those 10 years. So that job becomes more lucrative. That job becomes more attractive. That job becomes better than it was when he got there. So that whole, oh, the stadium will be a net loss. No, it won't. Because you will be able to attract another big time coach. You won't be able to get another Deion Sanders. He's one of one, but you will be able to get another big time coach. And I want to talk about also why that unanimous passing was big, because this new Jackson State Stadium is not going to be cheap. Well, first of all, I want to show you this article. I want to just show you this clip or uh, read this clip together. The fact why it's big, because the governor of Mississippi wasn't even for this. The fact that that passed unanimously through the board and the governor, Governor Tate Reeves, Mississippi governor, this is from this is from September, uh, HBCU game day. Mississippi governor Tate Reeves distracts from USM. He goes on to say, Tate Reeves, he was talking about, it's about the Brett Favre stuff. He said, I don't know all the details that came about, Tate Reeves said. What I do know is that it doesn't seem like an expense that I would personally support. I don't even like the state building stadiums with general fund tax dollars. I'm not really excited about Jackson State building a football stadium. So the governor doesn't even support Jackson State getting a new football stadium. And the board still approved it. The city couldn't even agree. This is another old article from April from WBLT, the same people we just read the current article from. The city didn't even agree about when they did the feasibility study about where to put the stadium. They had four different locations. They really wanted it downtown. They had three locations downtown and one on the campus in the city. And they paid $250,000 in tax funds to do a feasibility study. And they hated that the feasibility study came back. It said that the best place to have the new stadium is on campus. One, because the, the school, one, because it's on campus. The environment of on campus is great. Everything is awesome. Two, it's because this, the school already owns the land. They own 24 acres, which is enough to build the stadium and have tailgating and parking. So let me let me read to you. It says, uh, we spent 250000 state ta uh, tax dollars for a feasibility stadium. We might as well follow the recommended, a recommendation of the president because it was his, you no, know, follow the rec recommendation. The recommendation said you should have it on campus. The study shows, let me make sure you guys can see that. The sh study shows an on-campus stadium was the number one pick for several reasons. Convenient location, no cost displacement, and JSU owns the land near J.R. Lynch Street and Dr. Robert Smith Senior Parkway. So it looks like JSU is, one, going to get the stadium. It was passed by the board. It's got to go, and it's just one step closer. It's not guaranteed, but it's one step closer, even against the will of the governor. Two, it looks like it'll be on campus because it was the number one pick from the feasibility study that they paid 250000 tax dollars to make happen, and this is the results they came back with. Number one, for all the reasons we have highlighted, and then the stadium's going to be state-of-the-art. Because the price tag for the new stadium is $120 million. $120 million. 
So it means it's going to be top notch. This is what you're supposed to do when you get a guy like Deion Sanders to come to your school. This is how you build a foundation that will last way longer than Coach Prime's life. He is doing what he – see, here's the thing. Life is all about give and take. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Well, he scratched the hell out of Jackson State's back, and he scratched the hell out of the city of Jackson's back. They made $30 million off the back of the football team last year, $30 million. And so it's about time you reward him, his players, his staff, by getting them a new stadium. And not just getting them a new stadium – but getting them a new stadium on campus. That is how you reward and show Coach Prime. That is how you reward and show the guys on staff and show the players on the team and show Ashley Robinson, who hired them, that you appreciate everything that they're doing, not just for the university, but for the city and honestly for the state. I mean, Jackson State is the hottest ticket in college football, period. Not FCS, Jackson State gets more social engagement online, gets talked about more than any, damn near any other program in the country. I mean, you would have to go to like Alabama football, House State football, USC, and then there's a little bitty old Jackson State. So the least you could do, city of Jackson, state of Mississippi, just put the bill on this football stadium. Put the bill on this one. You, you guys got this one because he's done enough. He, his players, his staff, his team, his crew, they've done their part. It's time for you to do yours and show them that you appreciate them. And maybe, just maybe, you won't have to worry about them leaving and going somewhere else. You get them a brand new stadium. It's a good way to make them want to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I think we're going to see Prime for a long time. I don't think they get approval of a new, brand new stadium and Prime leaves. I've already been on record saying I don't think he leaves before his children. So I've already said that, whether that's Shadur, Shiloh, and the, the daughter, Shalomai. And if they decide to build him a new stadium, not necessarily him, but build the football team a new stadium, hell, they'll probably name that joint after him. He ain't leaving before that's done because he's going to have it built the way he wants it to be built. It's a good way to get him to stay. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Once again, my name is Jeff Lights, Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at JLighty7. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at JLighty7. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.